Some flamingos have left their lake and have established a form of communication again when it comes to a care collab. And I hope that many orchid channels see this video if they participated in care collabs in the past or would like to join in. This is important to me, so I hope you listen to the video all the way to the end. I figured a quick video with some reminders and requests on my part would be opportune as we are heading into a care collab again after a considerable amount of time of none. If you would watch the video to the end, I would appreciate that because many times I am emailing answers to questions that are in actual fact included in the PDF info material that I send out to every channel that is new to the Care Collab initiative. As you can imagine, some Care Collab categories have a lot of channels in the database, while others not so much. So it would really help me out a lot when it comes to the amount of emails I send out, receive and respond back to all before even sending out the confirmation emails with participating channels and upload date that the PDFs are read and should there be any questions based on that information in the PDFs, I am happy to clarify. So here's a question I get asked a lot once I have sent out a confirmation email to channels. Confirmation emails confirm the upload date and a list of participating channels which do not include the recipient of the confirmation email. The question that arises is, am I taking part in the care collab because I do not see my name on the participating channels list? The answer is, if you are receiving a care collab confirmation email, then please know that only channels participating are getting confirmation emails. Your channel name will not be on the participating channel list within the email because in the early days I saw many people copy and paste the participating channels list out of the email and then their video shows participating channels and their name is on the list. The fact that you are filming a video means you are participating. Maybe I'm just being picky, but it looks odd to me. So I removed recipients of confirmation emails from the participating channels list to avoid that from happening. Please know that only participating channels are receiving confirmation emails and your name will not be on the list. However, the channels participating in the Care Collab that you are participating in are on that list. All the other participating channels on the list of the confirmation email that the recipient has without their channel name on it, those confirmation emails will have your channel name in their list as participating channels, but not their own. So I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to keep it clean for anybody that still wants to use copy and paste from the list within the email. Which brings me to the next thing I have seen happen in the past. In my introductory Care Collab PDF package, I send a list of seven guidelines that need to be included in a Care Collab. How you structure your video, present your information or the length of it, etc. that is entirely up to the channel participating. There are no guidelines for what you do for your video, with the exception that seven guidelines need to be met and I am including a screenshot of that image here. You see, Care Collabs was something I thought to be a great idea to help people searching for information on many common orchids or genus to get the information fast, find a video, and then see that there are multiple options within the video which gives more information as to another setup, climate, grow space, greenhouse, or alfresco, etc giving the person who found the video not just one angle of how to grow an orchid or a genus, but opening up the different possibilities of successfully growing the genus or orchid, making it easy and faster to figure out how the different information can work for them and in their conditions. I hope that in the past that this has worked out and turned out to be helpful for the Care Collab videos already out there and anybody who has found them and then realized, hey, there are more videos on this same orchid or genus. Let me have a look at those and see what I can learn from them. However, Care Collabs were also inspired to help channels out with getting content on YouTube. Many people struggle with ideas. So, enter a Care Collab, giving a channel the opportunity to put out a video. In addition to that, 
CareCollabs also intended to be a vehicle for channels to grow, get to a wider audience by collaborating with other ORCID channels, so that maybe the subscribers of one channel would see other channels they have not seen before and subscribe to those channels as well. That is why the seven guidelines include two fundamental points that cannot be ignored and left out for your video. One being to create awareness of all the channels participating. Now, sometimes a care collab can have 10 channels participating and it would take a long time to mention them verbally in a list. But it is possible to show each channel with a screenshot or show the list of the channels in text form on the screen within the video or write the list of participants out and show that in the video so that those watching the video see other channel names should they choose to then watch another participant to find additional information etc in the past i have seen that this was something that was just being passed over and well it's not fair for the participating channels that follow this guideline creating awareness towards channels who do not follow it so please make sure that in some way, whichever is easiest for you participating in a Care Collab video, please make sure that this guideline doesn't fall by the wayside so that every channel is on the same playing field. While mentioning channels is one of the guidelines within the Care Collab video, in order to facilitate finding the videos of other channels participating for the viewer, another guideline is to add the links of the videos of the channels participating in the description, referring back to one of the points of inspiration for the Care Collab initiative, helping those that search for a topic to find the information quickly, and when they do, other options open up to them from that one search. Without the links of the videos in the description of each video, this just won't work, if you see what I mean. And once again, it is unfair to those channels that actually do the work to fill out the description with participating channel links, while others do not. I know that it sounds like an extra step, and yes it is, for many channels. And yes, it takes more time to fill out the description to get the links, because of our different upload times based on time zones, not the date. The date stays the same, but the time zones proves that videos are uploaded at different times of the day, meaning Care Collab channels might need to go back to their description to update the links, or at least, if as a Care Collab channel you do not have the time for that, then from Jump, take the actual channel URL of every participating channel and add that into the description. It is a compromise, it won't direct those searching straight to the video, but it is better than not doing anything at all. Meanwhile, in just adding the channel URL into the description, anyone searching can get to the participating channels, and if you then have time to go and get the link of the actual Care Collab video, I would really appreciate that, and so will all the channels participating in the same Care Collab. If this all sounds like too much of a hassle, please let me know because I'm not forcing anyone to participate in any care collab. If I send out an alert email and I get a reply that says I cannot join in this time around or I do not grow this orchid anymore, etc, etc, then that is perfectly fine. Should the orchid come around again in the future, I will send out an alert email again. However, if mentioning the channels, adding their links into the description of your video is too much trouble, then I would like to know as well, because then I will have to say, these are the seven guidelines, and I'm sorry, no exception, seeing as it is not fair to channels that are applying all the seven guidelines. I'm not trying to jeopardize Care Collabs, but I am very protective of the concept, because... Me putting links into my description is only a fraction of the work that I have to do in order to coordinate a care collab. If this helps to put it into perspective, I am going to add this. Sometimes I have sent 60 emails before even sending a confirmation email. The alert emails themselves are in some cases high in numbers, even though not all channels will participate but I have to send emails to all channels in the category not knowing if I will hear back before the deadline. While waiting for the deadline, I have emails that confirm or decline 
Each email gets a response to say thank you either way for joining in or letting me know that this time around the timing is off. Whatever it may be, every email gets a response. And sometimes questions arise, so they get a response. And sometimes those questions are answered in the PDF package that I send out to every channel that is contacting me about Care Collapse for the first time. But they get answered in an email. Then I send out the confirmation emails and sometimes I get a reply back from the recipients to which I also reply because it is the right thing to do. So you see, my computer fills up really fast, really quickly and for at least three if not four weeks because I do not want anyone to feel left out. I save all the emails until a care collab has aired and I start the process of organizing a care collab with at least three weeks to upload date so that all the steps needed when it comes to coordinating one care collab are done for every channel to see, reply and film without stress in their own time, including trying to take into consideration that there may be holidays around the corner, family time, etc. It sounds like a mouthful, and yes, it is. Not only a mouthful, but a memory storage and time-consuming one. I don't have this kind of memory in my computer. I do not use the cloud because I cannot pay for extras like that. So when I ask that the seven guidelines be met so that it is fair for every channel participating, please take a moment just to think back what I said and consider the workload at my end. I don't think I'm asking too much and I hope that you understand. While I'm glad that we are back with a care collab or two possibly soon, I have to also be honest and say that I am nervous. Because not only the workload, I can commit to that, but to make sure that that concept remains clean, does what it was intended to do and not feel disappointed that some people just don't care for the lack of a better way of putting it. While I'm working in the background to help channels grow because of this initiative, so please, I hope you see where I'm coming from. It is not to have a go at anyone, but if the shoe fits, then please, I'm asking you to respect the concept, respect participating channels, respect the workload also that it takes to make a care collab happen, and please follow the guidelines. I do not want to exclude anyone. I do not want to create some kind of bad blood, but I cannot be doing the legwork and then feel disappointed that my hours of working on behalf of others is not respected in some way, shape or form by omitting two fundamental points what makes a care collab work for everyone, not just the person searching the information, but also the channels participating. I hope that you see what I'm doing in the background, not to mention the hours spent cross-referencing lists of ORCID's collections with the database. I hope that this gives you an idea why adding links to the description of a care collab video is not that much work after all and not too much to ask for. And why not mentioning participating channels in some way is not that much added work either. I hope I didn't offend anyone and if I did, I apologize. This was not intended to offend and please let me know if I did. And just to finish off, I will openly admit that I have been offended and deeply hurt in the past by some care collab participants. It took the wind out of my sails. It was hard to swallow, hard to look past, hard to work through. And that's why, well, it's been a long time since we've had a care collab. Hard to work through just staying with the channel, my channel. So yeah, I do appreciate your efforts of the additional extra steps to make a Care Collab video as participants of Care Collabs. And if you can understand where I'm coming from, I really appreciate that a lot as well. I do not want to have any misunderstandings, but I also want to protect myself from past experience. So gulp. Thank you for listening. Have yourself a fabulous day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.